hello everyone welcome to, to dealing tutorials today we shall see how to create an account and add a dvr and share the dvr through dealing smart plus cctv app it is available on android and ios platform as i'm using an android phone i'll demonstrate how to configure over an android phone so we shall you open the play store and we will type in the name of the app dealing smart plus so since I've already downloaded the app I will open it we will get up a pop-up message or uh, you are not currently connected to Wi-Fi so you may occur charges so we can just click on confirm then on the top right hand, left hand side there are three boxes we'll just click on that once we click on it we will see that we are not logged in to the app so we will just create register and create an account for that we will have to click on the human icon once we click on that we'll click on register once we click on register well, let me just fill in the details of email id password and confirm password so once you have filled in the details we'll have to click on register once we click on register a verification code will go to our registered email id so let me just fill that so we have to fill in the verification code which we have received on our email id once we do that we click on register so once we have registered now we are into the app and if we can check over here it shows our re registered email id now we will get now we will click on devices once we click on devices we'll have to add the dvr so to add the dvr we'll have to click on the plus icon on the right hand side on the top to add the dvr we need to make sure that the p2p status on our dvr is connected to the the p2p option is available on the dvr screen monitor screen so we'll just scan it For demonstration purpose, I have used uh, L series DVR. Hence, the cloud ID. Once we scan the cloud ID, a verification code is automatically generated. If we are using an M series DVR, we'll need to fill in the username and the password of the DVR. We'll just enter the name that we'll be giving it to it. And we will click on the save option on the top. Once we have clicked on the save, we will see that the DVR is added over here. So we'll click on it and we'll click on start live view. So we are getting the live view over here. So the DVR has also been added to the app. Now we, what we'll do is we'll see how to share this DVR. So we'll click again on the three boxes on the top left hand side. We will click on devices again and we will click on the three dots in the side of the name so once we click on that there is an option called share we will click on share now there is an option to share with a friend so we will click on that here we can decide which cameras that we can share with our the other person maybe a friend a colleague or so on so for now i will for sharing purpose i will remove the eight channel the camera which i have added i will remove it while sharing it so i will just click over here also if we want only for to share a camera so we can keep that and the other settings are over here we can remove a remote playback or an alarm or we can even set a time period over here which time we want the other person to view the cameras So I will click on next. Once I do that, now we can we'll have to enter an email ID over here that we want to share the account to it. So I will just go and do that right now. So I have entered the email ID over here. Once we have entered the email ID, we'll click on search. If we cannot find the email ID, we might click on more ways to share. 
so once we click on that there are two options one is to scan the qr code or we can share a link sharing a link is also that you can use you can directly share it via whatsapp or email so now we'll just add this so once i click on account and click on share it will send a request to the other person's registered email id so for the other person to view the cameras he'll have to again click on the three boxes and he'll have to click on share device and he'll have to click on accept once he accepts we will get it over here saying that it is accepted then we go back to devices and we can see that the name is visible over here and i'll click on start live view now when i check i can see only seven cameras as i have not shared one camera with this so hence we will we can use in this way we can share our devices Now if you want to check whichever DVRs have been shared, we can go to device share and we can check whose information like whatever has been added on this DVR. If we want to cancel any of the shared devices, we can click on modify all channels. Any modification that needs to be done can be done here and we can click on cancel share. So if we click on cancel share, the DVR which we have shared with the other person will get will be removed so if i click on sh cancel share it will be removed from here so the other person will not be able to view the dvr 